Hello, food service directors, subscribers, and non-commercial operators. Welcome to our brand new special featuring podcast, giving you all the insights on our upcoming Menu Directions conference. That's right. Mark your calendars because Menu Directions is coming June 17th to 19th. The excitement will unfold at the Lowe's Atlanta in none other than Atlanta, Georgia. This event promises to be a game changer for all involved offering unparalleled opportunities for networking, learning, and innovation in the world of food service. But hold on to your chef hats because we got an extra special treat for you today. Joining us straight from the legendary food service director team is none other than Tara Fitzpatrick, the senior executive editor at FSD. Tara, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm super excited to be here. Do you feel like just giving a quick little introduction to yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So some of you out there may remember me from Food Management Magazine. And as you've probably heard, we have merged with Food Service Director. And it's not the same old, same old for either publication. Food Service Director, it's new, it's improved. I have an amazing team. I've got Raina, I've got Benita. And I'm just happy to be able to introduce the team of Food Service Director and all the new stuff that we're doing. And this conference has been a signature for Food Service Director for years. But this year, I think it's about getting to know new people, having new people join us, having old friends join us. So I think it'll be like the ideal mix. Well, let's just dive into things. So just kicking things off with the burning questions that we know our listeners have been eager to hear. Why should someone who's reading Food Service Director come to Menu Directions? So for our readers, and I guess now that we're starting podcasts, our listeners, and (laughs) however you might interact with our brand, we know that our audience is made up of people in the food service business, and especially on the on-site food service business. So not only we know how busy you are, we know you've got stuff going on, but We also know that you see the value of just dining together physically, like breaking bread and trying new things and experiencing new things. And the main thing for us is the education piece, the learning together. So when you actually are there and the sights and the sounds and just the feeling of community, and if you can bring your team with you, all the better. Because like I was just saying, the more the merrier. So from your perspective, what do you think the key features or highlight this year's event differ from previous years? Yeah, I kind of touched on it earlier, but kind of the getting to know us aspect. Our editors and other people from our editorial team are going to be kind of present and throughout the whole thing. And we're also highlighting some chefs. Like this is a very chef-y event. And we have somebody who's going to be talking about AI and menus, which I think is really fascinating for everybody. Like as uncertain as we may be about artificial intelligence like let's jump right in let's taste it let's see what it can do for us yeah the culinary side and then the operations side and just the fact that all the different segments that we cover they have a lot in common and they can also learn from each other and we can also learn from the more commercial side as we're going to have Jonathan Mays there I think he and I are going to be having a conversation that's just that is what can we learn from each other so really valuable stuff and kind of up to the minute ideas happening and there's more details to come too. Something that many directions really focuses on is those four main pillars of the non-commercial food service industry. So those touching on sustainability, workplace culture, technology, menu innovations. We're going to have about nine workshops featured at this year's menu directions, touching on all those super interesting topics. That when it comes to AI, I know you mentioned that's going to be a main focus at menu directions this year. How would you say that directly impacts food service director readers and what can they learn from the knowledge given? Yeah, we're going to be seeing kind of what can be done. How can it be used to help you and help your employees? A big part of what we cover just throughout the year, and you're going to see this come through in the conference too, is labor and 
engaging with people and making people's jobs easier and more efficient so they can like get into the good stuff, the hospitality, the creativity. So it's kind of, as I said, like people are a little uncertain about it, but AI, I think we're going to be able to see it as, as a helper, as a friend, not as someone who's going to take things away, but will allow us to do the more human centered parts of food service. And there's a focus on sustainability at this conference too. And And we're looking at just the way, especially on site, can actually impact and move the needle on climate change and actually make things better. So it's like those ideas are going to be definitely in the air and you're going to be able to find people that who are really smart about that stuff, too, which will be awesome. So at Menu Directions, our four main segments are colleges and universities, K through 12, hospitals, BNI. Within those segments, what type of people should we be expected to see? Yeah, I would say a good range of different people. I think people on the executive and C-suite level and people who are like our name, food service directors, <laughs> that obviously is somebody. We're going to have marketing, marketing people there, people from various manufacturers that you will be able to see on the show floor. I want to see chefs. We definitely will see that. Cooks, team members, marketing people. I feel like marketing people always have a lot that they can learn from each other. And that's something I I like to bring more of those people into the fold. Not saying that as a marketer myself, but I feel like we're (laughs) crucial. (laughs) The last thing I just wanted to touch here is something that is publicized a lot within many directions is the opportunity for operators to earn CEU credits. So what does that mean to operators? What does getting these CEU credits mean to their career, to their company? Yes, this is something that it's so good when organizations have things like this, where if you do XYZ, then you can move up to ABC. They have, it's sort of a clear cut way. You know that you're going to be learning this thing and whether you are moving up within your organization or if you just want to be ready to look for something else, whatever your situation is, more education is never going to look bad. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a fun way to do it. You'll have fun as you're learning and with all of those networking opportunities built in right there. Just a really good community. The people in this industry just have so much heart and they are always willing to help each other and that's I think that's a lot of what makes this conference so special. Yes I love that. Well we touched on those hot topics and before we wrap up today's episode just wanted to extend a thank you to our platinum sponsors Galley, Impossible, Symbol, and Kings Hawaiian. Your support makes the events like Menu Directions possible and we truly appreciate your partnership. At Menu Directions, we understand the challenges of tight budgets, which is why registration is completely complimentary for operators. Don't hesitate any longer. Take advantage of this opportunity and join us by booking your ticket now and registering through the link provided in this email. Nothing should be holding you back at this point, and all that you have to gain is valuable insights and networking opportunities at Menu Directions. So thank you again for tuning in until next time. And remember, Menu Directions is coming June 17th through 19th at Lowe's Atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia, and is meant for on-site professionals from all segments. See you there.